Hey friends, in our last video in the ASP.NET 101 series that we're doing right here, we introduced Blazor, and it was pretty intense. It was. There was, there was a lot a going on. There was a lot going on. That's exactly what I was going to say. A lot going on. So let's do this. Let's take this video to kind of recap what we were doing, because there were some moving parts, and uh, see what exactly we're trying to accomplish, and then that More Info button. We, we know that we can select a card in our Crafts app, but we didn't really do anything yep. with it. We should add that pop-up that we said we were going to do. Right. Got to keep a promise. Mm -hmm. So before, when we were doing this, we, we made our Razor component. We put everything in a dot .razor page, a dot .razor component rather. Now before, we moved everything from our index razor page into a razor component that's really kind of self-contained. And what's nice about that is that we could now use product list anywhere. We could refer to it anywhere. And we had put in an on click, and you'll see in Visual Studio that purple bold face. That indicates that that's a Blazor event. Like buttons don't necessarily have an on click that works that way. But when we put the at in front of it and we may turn purple, now that is a event that will run that will select that product. Uh, and then we'll go and put those in a variable here, select product. And then you were saying we should pop up a modal. We didn't really do that. Yep. Um, I'm not even sure if these products are getting selected because when I click the button, yeah, nothing happens. And because we have this code that looks like just typical CS, I think we might be able to debug this. We should, exactly. So Visual Studio lets you debug Razor, uh, Razor components. And uh, let's do that. Let's set a breakpoint. Um, because like you said, it's just C sharp. So let's hit F5. I've been hitting Control F5, which is start without debugging. So now I'm going to hit F5, which is start debugging. Yep. And uh, we've got our More Info button. Let's click it. Ah, success. Ah, yes. OK, cool. So this is really nice. Um, we are in the code for the Razor component. And I can actually hover over these. And you see? You get some data tip action right. going and on here. I love this. This is my favorite feature. I don't think enough people know about it. Yeah. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> and then you go and pin that, and then watch it change. So here we are. We've just passed that in. Let's hit F10, or in this case, step over. So we have selected our product. We can actually see the product. One of the things that, that's cool now that you've hit a breakpoint and everything is you can run the autos window now, but you can also go to the locals window. Okay. And you can see all the different local variables that are in that vicinity. So if you wanted to see what the selected product is, you can mm. do that. Uh, if you wanted to see all the products, you can do that too, because they're all in scope currently. They're all local to this. So here mm -hmm. I can hover over product ID. I can see other variables that are local to what I'm doing, including my JSON file name for my component. So everything that got injected into this Razor component is visible to me uh, during this debug process. So it looks like that, in fact, works. Uh, we set selected product ID, which is cool. Um, but we don't actually pop our modal. Yeah, so, so let's add that. Let's do that. So we'll go back over here. I'm going to stop my debugging session. And we have been using Bootstrap. So we have a lot of divs. Mm -hmm. you know, everyone's HTML is different. I'm yep. sure that if, uh, if we had CSS skills beyond Bootstrap, <laughs> they would have fewer divs. <laughs> yeah. But the nice thing, of course, is that it's a structure that we can use. Mm -hmm. We you don't have to worry about CSS all the time. Yeah, exactly. It's frustrating. We need a div pop-up, basically, because I want to hit that page, and I want it to pop up. And then in the future, we'll put ratings down at the bottom. Yeah. OK? So uh, this is our div that runs every time. Uh, probably after here, but before mm -hmm. code. So we need to add a conditional statement in this case. So when the user selects the product or selects that button, mm -hmm. we should check to see if selected product is equal to something other than null. That's a good point. So basically, if we've got a product selected, do some stuff. And in this case, if the product is selected, the modal would just appear on the page. The div would be there when there's a selected product, and it wouldn't be there if there's not. Yeah. OK? So this is going to require some divs. Yep. So I'm going to paste in some code here. <laughs> Lucky for us. Mm -hmm. It's like a cooking show, you know, where you're stirring something right. and you yep. stick in the oven. You put your stuff. divs in the oven, and then yep. you put your finished just divs the final product. outside of the oven. So there you go. I uh, just brought those divs in. I'm going to go and remove that because I didn't want to. I brought my div and my if statement in yep. from, the, from the oven. OK? And then in just a moment, you see that these things are popping up. It hits us as selected product. Yeah, and that's because we called ours select product. Yeah, so I will go and f change that to be a little bit clearer. And it's okay to change your variables like that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. You can change as long your mind. as it compiles. 
So then we'll go and make sure, look, see the squigglies went away. Problem solved. And the nice thing about uh, razor components is that the HTML is syntax highlighted as HTML, and it's very, very clear. See where yeah, I selected it's highlighted, mm -hmm. it's nice, it's easy to see. And anywhere you have that at is when you switch into your C Sharp or your Blazor yeah. context there. So Plus, it just feels right. Mm -hmm. it, it's really not very nice because I know exactly what I'm doing here. Even though I've got a lot of divs, we've got the div for the modal that has the fade. Again, all of these CSS classes are coming in from Bootstrap. Mm -hmm. And that's and, cool. And uh, what's great about Bootstrap is they have a lot of their components pre-made for you, mm -hmm. like a modal and tables and stuff. So if you're feeling like, oh, I don't want to have to do that just to put up a pop-up window, they already have that code for you. you can right. Copy -paste so it. in this case, we just put it in the role dialog. We have the title, the image, the description, and then we have an, a footer that in the future, uh, in a little bit, we'll go and I'll, we'll put our ratings, I think, in the, yeah. in the footer. All right. So let's see if this works. Let's go ahead and hit Control F5 to start without debugging. Um, and all we're doing here is just changing that one line. It's like, if it's selected, do it. Otherwise, it's not. We hit more info. Hey. Hey, look at that. Pretty great. And because we asked for more info, we've added a description as to what this item actually is. Mm -hmm. So we can go and pick any of those. And you see how it fades in, it fades out. Super nice. Again, all of these are real products. You can make sure that you check out the JSON file uh, with the links to these real products because our friends have let us use these pictures. Yeah, I want to buy products. like half of this stuff. Yeah, it's all <laughs> it's, it's pretty cool. This uh, Contoso Crafts is going to take over the internet. You watch. Yes. <laughs> cool. So Etsy, watch out. So more info. All we're doing here, we click more info. It sets the selected product. And then if the selected product is not null, we show this. And if I go and close this div up just to kind of give you the collapsing editors, let me just tell so you. So much nicer. For, for beginners, for advanced people, anyone who's doing coding, having a collapsing editor is really nice because it lets you really focus and like back up and say, all right, if selected product, here's the modal. I can actually hover. See what's inside mm -hmm. there if I want to, or I can open it back up. So just a nice reminder of we've got our product services with our card and that footer. We've got our on click on that button. If selected product is not null, we show the modal. Here's what happens when we grab that selected product. Which you can also debug. Yep, which you can debug, which is very nice. Being able to debug that is a huge useful thing. And if I kind of scroll back a little bit, I can understand that. So I've used the collapsing debugger, and I've stepped back, and I can visualize what's happening. That's great. You like that? Yeah. So I'm thinking the last thing we need to do is actually add that rating stuff. Let's do it. So we'll take a break from this video and click on the next one where we are going to go and add the rating and really update our database.